Welcome back, and welcome to another exciting episode. And on this one, we have decided to do some new shelving. I have done slatted shelves in the airing cupboard, and I put two shelves in, and they're like an outsource shelving, like so. So that'll give me ampler storage. So put the kettle on, sit down, and enjoy the video and I'll show you how it's all been done. What I've done is measured it. So I've got 1440 at the back wall, which is that wall going across there. Coming up, then I'm gonna come 400 out and then going across as well. And I'm gonna have two shelves. And then I will also do two shelves going here as well. So when you look on here, so that's where the border is, back wall. I've measured 40, uh, 1040 and 1055. So there's, there is a 15mm discrepancy from that corner to this corner here. Uh, so, and I want six slats going across, and that should leave a 22mm gap. In between each slat so let's get to the saw so I've marked that at 1040 we do that one as the first cut What we'll do now is the two support braces. So if we cut it at 400, This one I felt the same. There you go. Just a little sand now. Just take the rough edges off. And that will have your end, your middle, and the other end. And then we've got the slats. There you go. Alright then, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. So let's do another one. Of this same size, so put that up to the edge like so. Mark it. And what I've done on the ends as well is I've just marked them. So this is ten fifty-five. On the others, I've put forty. So it'd be 1040 and I put 45, so it'd be 1045. Same again, I'm just gonna put 55 so I know where they all are. That is one shelf, so what I can do now is use these as a template on them to cut another set and then we've got the two shells. So I'll get through that now. Right then, we are in this little cupboard. And as you can see, a little clamp with a saw, get your laser on there. You can then 
put your laser anywhere. Decent laser. Yeah. Oh god, it's called Hupar. It's a green laser as well. Amazon, 50 quid, absolutely brilliant. And now, oh no, this side and this side is perfectly level. So I've drilled three holes. What I'm using is these Fisher Duo Power wall plugs. These come in three different sizes and they will do your plasterboard, hollow brick, concrete, they'll do them all. Really good drum air, really good wall plugs. So I'm using these ones. Six mil drill bit. Let me show and get it. Can you level? And so that's about right. Good work. And there you go. That ain't going anywhere. One down. Let's do the other one. Guarantee these will hold. Rock solid in plasterboard. Does it say what weight? I have a closer look, so like I say, I'm just using these these ones here, so the 30 mil, 120 of them, six mil drill bit, and so on, four to five. And I'll tell you what, yeah, then I think that comes. That was about 14 quid, but he's rock solid. And like I say with the layers that. There we go. That is literally bang on. Like I say, for 50 quid for a laser level. Absolutely brilliant. So there we go. But I'm about to go for Seba. I have made a miscalculation. Sorry about the boiler. Um, so yeah, miscalculation, gone for seven in the end, I got enough, so I'll screw these in, they're all going to be screwed down, uh, and then we'll get one piece going straight across. There you go, they're all screwed down on both sides. And I've just put one screw there and then where that mark is, 
I've just followed it all the way down. So it's the same all the way through. And I'll just put a screw now in each one of those. And then that is the first shelf complete. So here I have started to use my new GoPro. Unfortunately, it didn't get the sound completely right. Um, so I'm just putting the buttons on the wall just like how I did on the previous one. And now I've just put a button going across the two just to check the level. And as you can see on the spirit level, level that is perfectly level. I put three screws in each button, as you can see on there. Using these new Fisher wall plugs, I find them hold really well. And you don't really need to use these big 20, 20 mil wall plugs, which now I'm going to have to plaster over. So on this second shelf here, I've butted them all together. And what I'm going to do now is measure the distance from the back wall to the first button and then divide it with how many buttons I've got. So I'll count them now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll divide that by the measurement from what I've just took. And then that will give me the distance between each button. So here what I've done is set up the laser. So that's on the edge of that first support brace at the bottom. And that will give me the line then on the second shelf, which I can butt up the support brace up to that laser line. And there we go, that's two slatted shelves with the air in cupboard. Plenty of storage. And like I say, I am going to do a carry on from there over to there, and then the same again on that one over to there. And that'll give us ample of storage going forward. So let's do that bit now. So here I've cut these at 300, and just like on the other ones I've done a 45 degree cut on the end just to add a bit more detail. Block of timber, this is going to support the brace on this side here. It's 150 mil. I've just drilled two holes on my screws. Got them on there. So what we'll do now, as you can see, you screw that on there. Like so. <clears throat> so then now, what that allow me to do now?
two screws in this one now. There you go guys, that is all now complete. So let's get you to see. So here we go, we've got shelf going all the way around. And then the same again on that one, going all the way around. Like on here, I can show you, I put a brace across there, which that screwed in, like so. There we go. So now that's ample storage for the new year when you've got all the new presents, stuff, bags, wrapping paper, you name it. And that is going to be a lot better. So I hope you found this interesting and I hope it's something that you could guys, you could do yourselves. Um, you know, if you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below. Um, if you like the video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see future videos, please hit the subscribe button. It will help me out. And I'll uh, carry on putting more content up. But um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you soon.